Harder to find swimming lessons for your children this summer because of the pandemic. But 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg with word on how some local YMCA's are ready to help. Hi, Christine. Hi, Fred. Hope you remember your swimming lessons and retain some of that information. That's Susan's goal this morning, Aquatics Director. We're in Spartanburg. So the YMCA in the greater Spartanburg area, there's three of them here, offering swim lessons despite the coronavirus. Some branches, not so much. Other agencies can't even open at all. Susan, A, we appreciate this. B, we know it's important. And tell me why important. Even drowning, way easier than I thought. Yeah, there are a lot of myths um, around drowning. One is that people make a lot of splashing, Dramatic. but they don't. Drowning can be very silent. Drowning can happen in under a minute, so you don't have much time. This uh -oh. is the worst thing. How do you mean? For parents, if you're on this and you're not watching your kids, it's a myth that it's the lifeguard's job to watch your children. Lifeguards are there to enforce rules and scan and do rescues. If your children are in the water, you should be watching them. And then the last thing is to get them lessons so they're confident swimmers and they have those water experiences. Very good. You have some trained, tried and true methods that you're using? We do. The YMCA revamped their swimming curriculum a few years ago. And so we, we use this curriculum. It's super successful. We teach over a million children every year. I was going to say, okay, who are we teaching these lessons to this summer? Young, old, in between? From parents and children working together to adults. Very good. Tell me about your also those lessons for those that can't afford them. We have a special program called Safety Around Water and it helps underserved children, minority children, to get those lessons that they so need. La this year, because of the COVID-19 virus, we were unable to procure two big grants, um, and so we're not able to touch as many children this year. So I am just asking and begging people to go to SpartanburgYMCA.org website and donate to our annual campaign so I can get those children their lessons. Very good, all right, WSPA.com has a link to both do that, donate, and then register for classes. There's a couple other branches we put their information on there as well. Do you guys remember your lessons? Did they pay off? I can remember them well. I can still remember the lifeguard yelling at me to stop dog Fred, paddling. Fred, I yell that all the time. Fred, Listen, hey, stop dog, dog paddling. paddling. Whatever you need to do. Uh, Ryan's going to throw me in in a few minutes, so I'm probably going to have to need to do the same thing. That I want to say. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. That's about so, the only thing I know how to do is dog paddle. Mm -hmm. I think that, that's my version of swimming. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, Fred, <laughs> what did he want you to do? strokes. <laughs> I know. Yeah, what did the lifeguard want you to do, Fred, instead of dog paddle? Oh, the old freestyle, you know. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's Turn my your head to breathe. <laughs> that's what I need. I can't do All the right. full circle. Anymore. Yeah, well, we might be swimming in showers as we check weather and traffic mm. on the sevens. Check it out. Some moderate rain in Oconee County, Raven County, also Anderson County. Those showers moving northeastward. Showers and storms on the way for the afternoon and evening. Tatiana? That's